The difference between the two sides today was the fact that Rhode Island had belief and confidence, certainly the man advantage towards the closing stages of the game. I had that sense they were going to go and run out and be the winner. But it was a close match and it was a fun game, end to end. We were watching in the first half and it, to me it was like a tennis game. It was going back and forth and back and forth and I think the true quality was just lacking from Rhode Island in the end to get all three points. Now we've got another big USL match coming up. Orange County, SC, the... County boys taking on El Paso Locomotive. If we want to just be plain about it, El Paso having a rotten season right now. They have scored the fewest goals in USL Championship. They've allowed the most in the West. The County boys got to try to take advantage of that tonight as the home side. Yeah, when you're bottom of the table fighting for your lives, you've got to try and do everything you possibly can to try and do that one. There's no doubt about it. Let's take a look at the Orange County lineup here. Schulte will start in goal. He's 26 year old, six clean sheets and 17 USL appearances. He has conceded 24 goals. Right back Owen Lamb having a good season so far from that back line. Two goals to his name with three assists. He joined from LA Galaxy too. Mm -hmm. Kyle Scott, born in England, he came through the Chelsea Academy. He won the UEFA Youth League two times with the Blues, one goal and two assists his name. And Ethan Zubak playing up front. You know his name, right? From Nashville? Yep, it's Nashville and the LA Galaxy as well. How about Wilmer Cabrera taking over El Paso Locomotive, and this is his starting 11. Yeah, big important game for Cabrera as well. Weight starts and goal, the 25-year-old, 28 goals conceded, two clean sheets. The Jamaican centre-back Cameron Craig, 20-year-old uh, from Philadelphia, one goal in 16 games. Interesting decision up top, Tumi Moshobane, the 29-year-old South African, one goal in 23 appearances this season across all competitions. He has not scored a single goal since May 10.